Okay guys, it's Gene here. Real quick, how do you back calculate the sales tax? All right, so here's the scenario and why you shouldn't. Here, let me put that in here. All right, so anyway, seriously though, you have a crew out working on a job and the client says, all right, can you do this one little bit of extra work here? And you're like, yeah, I'll be another 150 bucks. And he says, all right, I'll just give it, I'll just give you the money. Let's not change and rewrite the contract. I got the money right here. I'll give you the 150 bucks. And you say, okay, cool. So now you want to go home and you want to go back to the shop and you want to record that you made a $150 sale. You want to add that to your numbers. You're competing with your best friend from college. He's on the same sales team with you. And you want to record that $150 sale. Then you go to enter it into the computer and it calculates the tax for you. Let's just say we're in Houston, Texas, so this is 8.25%. So, so how do you calculate this? You make a dividing sign and a 1.0, all right? That's what you do. Divide, dividing sign and 1.0. So, what's that look like? 150 divided by 1.0825 equals 138.57. So you did not record a $150 sale. You recorded a $138.57 sale. That's what you do. Somebody gives you money. You do a verbal agreement. This should not happen. And this is why I'm saying you shouldn't do this. You should get the work order and write it down on the back of the work order and add it in and calculate it right there on the spot. This is why I want you to know this technique so you can calculate it right there on the spot with your iPhone. I'm not saying don't collect the money. I'm saying don't misrecord the money and don't fool yourself into thinking you made a $150 sale. Another example. This is a bigger one. And you record a $2,000 sale. This never happens, by the way. It's usually smaller amounts. Let's do it again. And we know that the tax rate is 8.25%. What is our trick? Dividing sign, 1.0. 2,000 divided by 1.0825 equals 1847.58. So you record a $1,847.58 sale. Last example, this is a very common number. It'll be an additional 500 bucks. 500 divided by 1.0825 equals 461.89. So you have a $462 sale. That is what you answer into the system. Thank you for watching.